Welcome friends to some more Valheim. Today we're going to look at how to create the amazing weapon, the Stag Breaker. One of the really good weapons that you can craft fairly early on. There's a few steps you need to take and I will show you how to do it step by step. And what am I talking about? Of course this one. Look at this one, how big it is. And one of the really good thing about it is that it does fairly good damage, pound damage, and oh, it does an area of effect damage that will push uh, the bomb mobs back and they will do damage to a bunch of them, even a group of them. It is slow, however, to attack with, so make sure you don't use it when you are getting cornered because you might end up getting killed before you actually recover. First thing you need to do is that you need to kill Aether, unfortunately the first boss, so we're going to actually do that. Here you have the sacrifice, you have to spawn him in, which is fairly easy, you know, you'll get to that as part of the early quest. And he's going to spawn in and we're going to have to kill him, and of course easy way to kill him is to, well, just avoid him and shoot him with arrows. So yeah, make sure you kill him, don't get hit by him. Oh, once you've killed him, oh here you go, come on, give me the stuff. He'll give you some stuff, some of the trophies and everything like that, and he will unlock the stag breaker. Whew. Oh, we should eat something actually, he's getting a little bit hungry here. First thing done. After that we need to go to the black forest and find some pine. Need to chop it down because it'll give you the core wood that you really need. Of course when you're here be a little bit careful because there are trolls around. There are some other baddies around and don't get hit by that. Ooh. Don't get hit by that tree as well. So you chop this one down, eventually you'll get some core wood. And you need that for a bunch of things that you can build. So it's always good to grab a bunch of it. You see, here we have some core wood. Oh, there we go. And here we have a troll. So be a little bit careful. Keep an eye out for where things are uh, because the trolls will really wreck you. But it's okay. We're going to get that core wood and we're going to get out of here. And now that we've gotten 20 core wood, we have 5 deer trophies, of course kill deers, so you probably have a bunch of them. Oh, and get some leather scrap from killing the boars. All good, however, oh it says we need to have station level 2, and that's part of where you get basically chopping block, you get the tanning stage, tanning rack and everything. You probably already have it by the time you kill Aether. So with all these items, just hit craft and you'll get a stag breaker, of course I'll get a second one because I already had one. Oh, doesn't that just look so amazing? Let's look at it. It is a two-handed. It's crafted by me, of course. Weight 4, quality 1, durability 100. So it's all right. Repair station 2, which is the same as crafting. Blunt damage 20, not too bad. Compared to the club, it's definitely better. You can block, you can parry and everything, which is fine. And it does make you slow to walk around. But again, the aim of using this is really when you're having a group of enemies or you can get the first bash in. For instance, let's see, we have a good friend over here. Sneak up on him and we're gonna pound them. Oh, look at it just smashed him into the ground. Even though I actually didn't hit on him, I hit behind him. You can do that even with these ones. You see, I missed him, but it still deals massive damage. And it can knock them back depending on what size they are. You might not want to use these on a troll because the troll will use his little sledgehammer to hit you. You see how slow it is to actually attack. So the enemies are likely to get in a hit unless you are much faster than them at actually triggering it. So if they are some distance away, it's fine. If they're really close, it can be dangerous. But you saw there, you hit them before they get up to you and... Oh, look at it. Not only does it deal damage, but it bashes him backwards. So you do that a few times and he will die. Do it against these skeletons. Oh, look at that bashing. Couple of bashes here and I will probably kill them. Oh, okay. I probably should go out of here. But that's how you craft the stag breaker. I would definitely urge you to get this one early on because it will make a lot of the fighting a lot easier. At least it gives you a way to do a ground and pound, which can be really powerful against groups of mods if you are getting the first hit in. So if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that like button? Maybe subscribe as well. I do have a playlist below in the description, which has a lot of my Valheim videos and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.